Colossians 3.13. As God's chosen ones, bear with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgive each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. He lays out two things we can bear, two burdens that we can carry. We can carry the burden of other people, bearing with their struggle, bearing with their weakness, being there for them, carrying them, comforting them. Or we can bear the burden of unforgiveness, which a lot of you right now are carrying. There's rocks in this thing, and it is genuinely heavy. And I don't want to put this on, but some of us have put it on, and we have left it on. And we are stuck carrying unforgiveness and strife and jealousy and comparison. And we don't have any margin to bear with other people's burdens because we are so consumed with hurt and frustration and anger. And guys, there's a, there's a better way. The context of this verse is, is God lovingly calling his kids to, to live a life set apart, to live a life that's free. And he says the way that we're going to do that isn't just willing ourselves to forgive. It's, it's recognizing the forgiveness that we've been given. So when we receive the forgiveness that God gives us, we get to throw down, put down all the hurt that's been extended to us. We don't have to carry it anymore. We don't have to bear that burden anymore. We get to bear the burdens of others. And guys, we have a world that is craving someone to come up under their burden with them and and share it and to help them. We can't do that if we're all angry and mad at everybody. And I'm not saying there isn't ever a time to get mad. I'm just saying we do it a little too much. And we hang on to it and we build resentment and we miss the beautiful callings that God has for us to love other people.